Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about AI and physics and today I will talk about climate science and meteorology. Now don't be afraid, I will not enter that debate or discussion. Actually I did a diploma thesis in meteorology some 30 years ago, but climate science is for me just way too complicated and I don't want to mess with this. I guess I have a pretty good intuitive understanding of what is important in fundamental physics but climate and weather is just a very complicated system we know pretty well the equations which are governing the system but it is yeah everyone know, knows it's chaotic and you can't really predict and it's also very difficult to model long term the effects of the global effects on the climate yet i think we will have significant progress in this direction and let me explain why Meteorology has a big advantage, it has a wealth of data. You have the satellite images, you have temperature, you have pressure, you have wind, you have humidity, you have of course solar irradiation. And as a matter of principle, it should be very easy to learn from for a neural network. I have even heard there is progress in artificial intelligence doing weather forecasts. Honestly, I haven't seen the details here, but that's also my idea that it must be very easy to apply these techniques of artificial intelligence to weather and climate science because it should be relatively easy to learn from the data because you have yesterday's weather you have today's weather and you have the weather one week before and of course you can also add all the other parameters solar irradiation and so on and so forth so while the short-term performance is of course limited by the quality of the data, you might not have the spatial resolution or the temporal resolution you desire, but on the other hand, this shouldn't be such a great problem on the long term if you try to predict the climate. So what I do actually expect is a significant improvement of not only weather prediction, but also the reliability of climate models and hopefully that might help also to settle some disputes what we have to do that we should not mess too much with the climate and lead to a possible scientific consensus. I know this is kind of exception because you might say it's not exactly fundamental physics but in a way it's something that interests me and well if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in fundamental physics subscribe to this channel.